Minecraft's music is beautiful. It is an essential part of Minecraft's experience. And throughout Minecraft's development, C418 has released two different volumes to the game's soundtrack. But did you know that there was supposed to be a third? And not only that, the third soundtrack is finished. It's been finished for years, but it has not come out to this day. Uh, at this point, is there still a third volume of the soundtrack in the works? Or are you still, you know, have you just kind of moved on to other things? Uh, that's hard to say. Uh, I have something. I consider it finished, but uh, things have become complicated, especially because Minecraft is now a big property. So I don't know. The answer is I don't know. And I think I can't talk much more than that about that. This is honestly crazy considering how much of an impact Daniel's music has had on the game. But if we go back in time a bit, it becomes obvious why the infamous third volume still hasn't come out. These first two volumes released before the purchase of Minecraft by Microsoft. During the release of these first two volumes, and even in his later tweets, he made it clear that a third and final soundtrack was 100% in the works. But if you have a look, the last volume, made by C418, came out nearly 10 years ago, in November 2013. So what happened? Here's the simple truth. Minecraft is now the world's best-selling game and it's owned by a trillion dollar company and they now have an army of lawyers and their goal is to try and protect all the copyrights regarding the game. The original two volumes came out well before all this when Minecraft was still an indie game and thus C418 still had complete ownership over the soundtrack. This means every time you listen to his Minecraft music, let's say on Spotify, he made money off it and rightfully so because it is amazing music. But things have changed. Microsoft want complete ownership. The most recent soundtracks composed by Lena Rain are completely owned by Microsoft. This means that they only get money from the initial payment. So Lena Rain does not get money when you play that music on Spotify or YouTube or wherever else it is. Microsoft gets the money and they can do whatever they want with that music and the original artist has no say in it. And this is completely against the core beliefs of Daniel. And this is what is ultimately resulted in them never being able to come to terms and releasing the soundtrack. If he releases the third volume according to Microsoft's wishes, he will receive no royalties other than the initial payment and this is very bad for independent artists who make a living from their music because they have no ownership and they have no say in how the music is used after Microsoft buys it and C418 does not want this to happen he wants to own his music and this is what has stopped the release of Minecraft's third volume the final volume it's been rumored that the final soundtrack has been done since nearly 2017 in a series of Discord messages sent in 2021, Daniel reveals that the soundtrack has been stuck in this endless debate between corporate lawyers. And he is so frustrated by this entire process because he can't get this labor of love, this final volume to his masterpiece of a soundtrack out into the light of day, into the hands of all Minecrafters, while also maintaining ownership of the music. But there's an interesting twist to the story. It's rumored that the three singles he released for the aquatic update were actually a small part of his large final volume and during the time of the release of these singles the volume was nearly out but something stopped it from fully releasing. I loved these three pieces of music and I would really love to hear what he did for the rest of the volume. But the sad thing is we probably will never hear it, at least for a very long time because it seems like neither side is budging. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.